a servant of God and a friend to man. Hi everyone, it is your host here, Ma Eva, and I'm so excited to be here today. Thank you for tuning in in tonight's Hot Finder Strong program. Well, it is one of the most exciting times of the year. So roll up your sleeves in one because March 28th is Global Youth Day. It is a time where youth and even pathfinders can participate. I mean, what do we do in Global Youth Day, right? Well, it's a time where we can tell others about Jesus just by doing something simple, acts of kindness. Now, you don't have to do anything big. And I know during this virus and this quarantine, it can be kind of hard to go out because you have to social distance and wear a mask. You can sometimes just spread a smile or post something inspiring to make someone feel loved and welcomed in the name of Jesus. Global Youth Day has been a day that young people around the world look forward to. This past year, many of us had to stop our plans due to COVID-19. Instead of going out to impact the community, we held a prayer session over the youth and those fighting this new virus. 2020 was not what we expected, but we are sure that 2021 will be different. We are calling for all young people, adventurers, pathfinders, ambassadors, young adults, and public campus ministry students to start planning for Global Youth Day 2021. Prepare to be the sermon, to be the hands and feet of Jesus, whether it's in person or virtual. Global Youth Day 2021, reaching out, cultures, colors, and communities. Hi, my name is Aiden. I'm from the Ottawa East Conquerors Pathfinder Club. I want to give a shout out to the Scarborough Pathfinder Club and one of the members, Shem Williams. Remember, um, it was two years ago at Oshkosh when we would play catch and football and steal food from each other? That was really fun and I had a great time. I look forward to hanging out again. Bye. Now, for On The Moves segment. It is my honor to introduce to you, Joan Buchanan. She is a retired surgeon from the Canadian Armed Forces. In her profession, Sister Buchanan was able to let her light shine as she served her country and her local church as well. Let's take a look. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight at Pathfinder Strong. Could you please tell us a little bit about you? Good evening, and I'm honored to be here. See, I'm wearing my medals today to show some of my accomplishments I had in the Canadian Armed Forces. I was born in Jamaica, and I grew up in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and I came to Canada before my 18th birthday. Lived in Toronto, later on moved to Kingston, Ontario, where I joined the Canadian Armed Forces. My career in the military has been both rewarding and challenging. I did basic training in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and then I was posted to British Columbia. While in BC, I was the Pathfinder leader, and I judged many drill competitions at the Pathfinder Camperies. Later, I came to Ottawa, and then I got involved with the Ottawa East Adventures Club, they enjoy working with children as I want them to be productive members of society with, with a Christ-centered lifestyle. My career in the military has been, has taken me to many places I would never dreamed of attending and it's been a very rewarding career. Can you tell us how it was in that time to be a visible minority? It was challenging being a woman in the military, a black woman. I was invisible, visible minority because I was usually ignored. Um, your supervisor and colleagues may not want to single you out, so therefore they avoid you, they ignore you. I had no peers, nobody to identify with as a black person, because on the base, sometimes I was the only black woman in the entire base, never mind my unit. It was challenging. 
As a Christian, do you think being a believer in God had an impact on your experience? Definitely. I put God first in everything that I do. Whenever I get into difficult situations, I would um, pray. I go to my um, my room and listen to music and talk to God. While my colleagues, they, um, they seem to turn to drinking. I just keep talking, always talking to God because it's, you know, you have a direct line to communication by prayer. What advice do you have for us, Pathfinders, and for the young people that are getting ready to start their career? I'm going to recommend that you read Ellen G. White's um, writing to be like Jesus. There's one for every day. And then ask yourself the question, what would Jesus do if he were me? Always do the right thing. Your life experience is a, one, is a wonderful story for all generations. Thank you for serving our country and for being a servant of God and a friend to men. Do you find it hard sometimes to do the right thing, especially when you have friends who push you to doing the wrong type of things? That's called peer pressure. And sadly, I'm sure we've all been there. The best ways to overcome peer pressure is to change your focus from pleasing people to pleasing God. He wants us to be the best examples we can be to others. Our hotspot topic is peer pressure. Hi everyone, my name is Cheyenne and welcome back to another segment of Hotspot. With me today are two members. Can you guys please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Shanice from Ruth Alpha Century Pathfinder Club. Hi, I'm Joel. I'm from the Mount Olive Women Regions Club. It is nice to meet you guys. And today we are going to be talking about peer pressure. So the first question is, what would you say peer pressure is? Let's start with Shanice. I would say peer pressure is when people close to you in age uh, suggest or, pre or push onto you an idea of something that they believe is right. It could be good or bad peer pressure. And Joel? I would say peer pressure is an influence from either group of people or one person. I will say it's more pressure when a group of people comes up to you from as an age, from a higher age group, or from experience, I see. I agree. So the second question is, have you witnessed someone that you know get peer pressure? Let's start with Joel. Oh, yes, I have. They were influenced to sneak out in the middle of the night, and they had done it. I tried to talk them out of it, but it was already too late. They were too engaged. And Shanice? Um, people around me at school or church get peer pressured as well. Also at my school, I see like a lot of students get peer pressured, especially grade nines, because they're more vulnerable and you know, they're like the first um, set of students to come into the school. So yeah, I see a lot of grade nines. So the, sec the third question is, have you ever been peer pressured into doing something wrong? If no, why do you think so? Let's start with Joel. Oh, yes, I have. I've been peer pressured to skip class, skip class, to go to the bathroom, walk around halls. During class time, I was still teaching. But education is very important. You should take that as a, you should take it for granted. So I obviously said that. And Shanice? Um, yes, I have been. Well, I've been in high school for three years now, and during those three years, I've seen a lot of peer pressuring. For example, um, to leave school early and to uh, go to the mall or something just to be entertained. Do you think that there is any story in the Bible that talks about peer pressure? Yeah, for sure. Um, I would say in the first book of the Bible, Genesis, where Eve peer pressured Adam into doing it because she was also peer pressured by the serpents. 
and Chinese? Um, I would say Cain and Abel, uh, when they were both giving their offerings to God, and one gave what God asked him to give, and the other chose what he wanted to give. But the brother who gave according to God was trying to influence his brother to do the right thing, but he didn't listen to him. Um, I also think that there is a story in the Bible. Um, the story in the Bible is um, Joseph and his brothers. And I don't think that all 12 of his brothers really wanted him to get thrown into the pit. So I also think that Reuben, his older brother, was, you know, like, no, I really don't think that my brother should, that, you know, belong to him. So, yeah, I think that's a form of peer pressure. And the last question that I have for you guys is, what advice would you give someone who is dealing with peer pressure? Let's start with Shanice. Um. I would say to listen to the voice that's asking you whether this is a good thing or a bad thing and whether or not you should be doing it. And Joel? Um, it may sound good at first, but trust me, it's not. For example, if you if you if you're peer pressured to smoke, imagine what it could do to your lungs. Just think about that. Think of think long term. So thank you guys for joining me again on another segment of Hotspot. And thank you viewers for joining me again. Pathfinder Strong is looking for a creative video editor to join our team. If you have the skills and would like more experience and exposure, then please email us at pathfinderstrong at ontariopathfinders.ca. It's time for you to join our team. Small things done with great love can change the world. A random act of kindness is a simple, effective, and fun way to show the love of Jesus to people around you. We are still called to let our light shine before others. Our object lesson today is given to us by Julia from the Carlton Place Sparrows. Listen to this. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm learning to play that piece on the piano. Mine still needs a lot of practice, but because my parents pay for me to have music lessons, I have the guidance of my teacher, and I know that I can keep improving and getting better. That's what our Christian life is like. Just like my parents have given me the gift of music, Jesus has given us the gift of salvation. But to truly accept the gift my parents have given me, I need to spend time practicing and getting better. Is the same with Jesus. After we accept his gift of salvation, he calls us to follow him. We want to be more like him every day. We won't be perfect, we'll make mistakes, but the more time we spend with Jesus by reading our Bibles and praying and doing the things he wants us to do, the more we become like him. keep practicing and getting better. I'm also going to keep walking with Jesus and trying to be more like him every day. I hope you choose to follow Jesus too. Oh, sorry, I didn't know we were recording. Pathfinders, my name is Halisa and I'm going to be telling you this week's challenge. So let's get right into it. Having school, Pathfinders, and church all online has been so difficult. At least it has been for me. 
We get so distracted with our social media, our devices, family, friends, and so many different things. So this week's challenge is to be productive. Get your homework done, your book work done, help a family member, help a neighbor, as long as you're social distancing. And trust me, I know it can be hard because we're always at home and we'd rather be doing literally anything else, but it's still very important. The Bible even says in Colossians 3 verse 23, work willingly at whatever you do, as though you were working for the Lord and not men. God wants us to get things done, not for our own glory and not for the glory of our teachers, but for His glory. So next time you're helping your family member, helping a neighbor, doing your homework, or your book work, make sure to do it of the best of your abilities. And trust me, God will be so happy, he'll be dancing in his throne. So, Pathfinders, make sure to be productive this week. Bye! want to be a part of our show? Well, Pathfinder Strong needs you. Connect with us to be a guest or to upload your videos today. Go to ontariopathfinders.ca and click on the Pathfinder Strong page. You'll also see a tutorial on our page on how to record your videos for our show. It's time to step up and be a part of Pathfinder Strong. We've come to the end of our show. Please stay connected with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Pathfinder Strong. We have all of our social media channels up for you on Facebook and Instagram. Remember, March 20th is Global Youth Day, and we wish you all the best as you perform an act of kindness with your Pathfinder Club. With each act, let someone know they are noticed and loved by God. Spread kindness with a purpose. We'll see you next time, everyone. Stay safe.